That's the gimmick. Another fragrance review. I'm um, going to try to make this quick, but you guys know that I ramble, right? I'm going to do a couple of the new ones. Late to the party, a couple of the new ones from Zhirzhov. I'm going to do that Udun Overdose and that Mephisto Gentle Malunio. Gentle. I can barely speak English, okay? So first of all, let's do the Mephisto. So... My opinion on that is, first of all, I should let you know that I do like the original Mephisto. Um, Silver Mountain Water from Creed is actually one of my most favorite, potentially probably my most favorite fresh kind of scent, if you would call it that. I have gotten lots of compliments on that as well. Um, I do think that the original Mephisto is potentially redundant enough with Silver Mountain Water. I mean, if I was rich, I mean, I'm sure I would own both, but calling a spade a spade, I guess, right? I do think they're pretty redundant. Um, I feel like maybe Mephisto has a little bit more of a uh, cleaning agent Windex kind of smell to it, maybe something like that. But what would I say? I don't think that this Mephisto Gentle Malou... Let's just call it G, the Mephisto G. <laughs> I don't know. I can't, like I said, I barely speak English, dude. Um, I don't think the Mephisto G is redundant if you like i said how silver mountain water might be redundant to owning mephisto or vice versa i don't feel this is that redundant i don't feel it's a redundant fragrance it is its own fragrance right to an extent what do i think it smells like i would say it kind of smells like something like mephisto or silver mountain water but it has a sort of um oh man what is the word I'm not sure exactly what kind of adjective I would use to describe it. it. Is It is more warm. It has a sort of warm aura when you first put it on. It kind of, not exactly, I don't want to say a steam because it's not negative. Not exact. I feel like steam or a mist or a thickness sounds kind of negative. And I'm not trying to say that, but it kind of reminds me of, imagine, say, Mephisto sort of silver mountain water was stored in somebody's bathroom right and you opened up the bathroom and you got sort of a thick sort of steam vapor a little bit of a powderiness and because of that a warmth this an aura this does smell slightly older than say something like silver mountain water and mafisa at first it does have a bit of a older kind of feel it doesn't smell old per se but is it, but it does smell kind of older hopefully you can get what i'm getting at it kind of smells like again maybe someone stored mephisto or silver mountain water and you're looking for it and you have to go into someone's bathroom that they had just taken a shower with or something it's got kind of a warm kind of thickness kind of steam mist aura kind of to it like but as it dries down this gets more juicy and fruity and sweet than I feel like the original Mephisto or Silver Mountain Water. So again, it does feel kind of sweeter, more juicy or fruity. So a more different take on it in that sense, right? But it does still kind of smell like it, but it doesn't smell similar enough to it that if you enjoyed Silver Mountain Water and you weren't rich that you would feel it's redundant. So it is a little bit of its own scent, a little bit similar, a little bit different, right? That's how I would describe it. When I was testing both on each side, and I only have so much of the original Mephisto as well, I did find that this new one is stronger, but I only have so much of each, so it wasn't something that I was like <laughs> blasting each day, and I tried a lot, but take that for what it's worth. Now, Udin Overdose smells a lot different. Udin Overdose smells a lot different, whereas, again, Mephisto G <laughs> and Mephisto smell kind of similar, but not redundant. I don't think Udin Overdose is redundant whatsoever. Um, God, I hope it's not. It's Udin Overdose, right? Not Udin Accento. Man, am I saying the wrong thing? Shit. I hope I'm not saying the wrong thing, dude. But this smells a lot different. Like, what does Udin Overdose smell like? I would say Udin Overdose. And because it's like, let me try to make it sound amazing and interesting. Because a lot of these scents, when they're basically rich people scents, right? When a scent costs this much money, you got to be rich, I feel like. Or it has to like appeal to some kind of sense of you to like make it worth it right and that's not that these don't smell good they do smell good right but when you're paying this much money for something you need to be told a story i guess to be kind of horny about it right um imagine <laughs> this is so ridiculous right 
imagine someone, a rich farmer, planted or a rich gardener in their rich gardens, whatever. They had a little seed, a little bud of Udin, right? And they planted it in the garden. And then this garden, this, this flower of Udin, it bloomed and it was a tobacco blossom, right? And this tobacco blossom was yearning for water or something to make it bloom. And so to light this tobacco blossom, you took a little bit of that lemon or bergamot or whatever citrus they used in this, and you nourished the tobacco blossom that was Udin, and the tobacco blossom bloomed, and you had Udin overdose. That would be my rich people analogy for it, right? Honestly, the beginning of this, there is a big kind of citrus kick, so it can be a little bit misleading, so try it for a little bit, right, dude? But what I got out of this is it doesn't really smell, it doesn't really remind me too much of Udin. Like Udin is very, Udin is hidden under this quite a bit of tobacco blossom. And I'm not a note monster, but what I get is a lot of tobacco blossom, a tobacco blossom mix hiding Udin, right? That you lit this tobacco blossom. You lit this tobacco blossom with a little bit of that citrus at the beginning, right? I would say... To try this scent out, if you like this scent, I would say that if you like scents, like I guess Noxos does have a lot of tobacco blossom. If you like that, if you like something, and I know you're going to hate me if you're a rich person, something like Yopum Wild has a lot of that kind of tobacco blossom feel. Um, what else has a lot of tobacco blossom? Man, I'm just thinking something like Yopum Wild. You know, when I wore this one, I'm getting whispers of this fragrance when I tried it out, when I was like kind of getting like a whisper of myself throughout the day. I was thinking like, man, I'm kind of getting something like Yopum Wild. I'm even getting something like Noxos or something even like, God, I got a few whispers of even something like 1 million when I wore this, right? So again, in my opinion, if you're looking for, if you like fragrances like Noxos, is it Noxos? I hope I'm even saying it right. If you like Yopum Wild with that tobacco blossom, that's the kind of vibe I'm getting from this with a little bit of Udin underneath it all, right? And of course it has a, a different opening, right? But that's the kind of vibe I got from this. They're totally different to me, not redundant whatsoever. I feel like if I wanted to get a, toba or a tobacco fragrance from Zhirzhov though, I feel like I would still get that Join the Club Commandante. I feel like that's the best one for me personally. I do think Noxos smells fine as well. But again, so if you like something like Noxos, if you like something like Yopum Wild, you know what I mean? I, can, I even got a few whispers and you're gonna think I'm crazy when I wore this of one million. but. Of course, this is so much more well done in quotation marks natural, maybe, right? But uh, both are, you know, it's a good scent. It's hard for me to justify what I get it over the original Udin. I feel like the original Udin is kind of just a little bit more yummy at the end. It's a little bit more yummy at the end, and I feel like I enjoy that more personally. So, again, if I was rich, I'd probably own them both, but... Uh, I feel like I do enjoy the original more. If I was going to get one, I'd get the original Udin. Because I barely ever wear you Yopum Wild as it is. You know what I mean? And again, I really, when I smell that tobacco blossom kind of mix, this is the same kind of mix for me, I feel like, right? So that's my review of these two. They both smell good. Hard to justify for my disposable income. Zhirzhov actually has a lot of good scents. Like both these Mephisto smell good. Regular Udin smells good. This, you know, Udin Overdose. Not as good as the original Udin for me, but it's fine, you know. I like Lyra a lot. Lyra smells good. Join the Club Commandante smells good. Um, where are some other jerseys also? Like, those are the ones that kind of stick out to me. I still need to smell Amber Stars eventually, but hey. Anyway, that's my review of those two. That's my opinion. Um, oh, yeah, performance was okay as well. You know, performance was fine. Um, good, I would say, probably. Uh, the end.